时候。Tan-tan, it's so windy out here. Let's talk inside. I'll buy you coffee. No, thank you. I'm just passing by. I want to tell you personally. I'm going to quit my job. Anyway, I promise I'll still help you about the matter that your mother asked me for. After that, please make it clear to your mother that this is the last time. Why did you quit? There's no reason to continue. And also, my parents are hoping I'd get a more stable job. You also told me that parents want the best for their children, right? Mm. I'll go ahead then. You look great, by the way. That's a good thing. Mingye is quite inexperienced in love, so she didn't know how to deal with it. And refusing your love doesn't mean you're no good. Sorry, I'm just talking nonsense. Goodbye. Thank you. What would you like? Iced Americano. Anything That's else? That's all. Iced Americano, please. That's 42 yuan. Hey, excuse me. You may not be lucky in love, but this will make you happy. Enjoy. Can you tell me what's wrong with Tang Tan? Why did she suddenly want a stable job? She's done with acting. She had an audition, and she was offered a position as stand-in for the lead role. That's outrageous. <laughs> it's a personal choice. Come on, grab a bite. You are so selfish. Tang Tan can only work for you temporarily. It's a job of playing mahjong with your mother. Uh, but I... I know we're just friends, and I can't help but worry. <laughs> okay, there's nothing wrong. It's almost time. I need to go. It's getting better. Why a part-time job? I can earn thousands of yuan a month. I want to earn more. You have more than a million, right? That money's not mine, but Chao Wang Wang's. By the way, want to have some snacks later? I might take a while Well, it here. depends. I'll call you later. Gotta go.
Ma'am, please be careful. Mom, how's your leg feeling? <laughs> it's all right. I've been sitting in the car far too long. What a nice weather. It feels similar to Singapore. You don't get it. This place is my home. It's a lot better. I'm going to call Ling Xiao. Please don't do that. If you call him, he'll spoil the surprise. Let's go. Okay, five, five steps. steps. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Whoa, oh my goodness. <laughs> the restaurant uses a rare word on purpose, but you took it as the QR code and paid with it. That's funny. <laughs> Don't tell Sucho about what happened today, okay? <laughs> oh, just cut it out. is very clean. Are you living alone or with someone else? With Su Chao. Is he the adoptive son of Li Hai Chao? He's studying abroad, isn't he? He's back. Oh. Li Chen Chen lives across the hall. In other words, you guys are still living together. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that you're coming back? It's Mei Yang's idea. She intended to give you a birthday surprise and didn't want me to tell you. And besides, I haven't visited for a while now. I haven't seen your uncle in years. When your grandmother passed away, it was a pity I wasn't home. Maybe it's time to visit our old home. What is it? You're tired? You look pissed. You're the one who looks upset. Don't be so rude, dear. You're the one who keeps saying that you wanted to see the place where your brother lives and works. You even told me you want your brother to take you out, right? I didn't say that. Don't make up stories. What are you saying? It's so obvious that you miss your brother very much. He didn't even miss me at all. Why should I miss him? Stop talking like that. Ling Xiao, I brought some fruits. Give it to Miss Chon Ting and Little Orange. Okay, I will. Is that you, Chen Chen? Uh, it's me. Uh, come in, join us. No, it's fine. Go ahead and talk. No, no, no. Come on in. Hey, Ling Xiao, tell her to join us, will you? Don't just stand there. Come on, join us here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> I haven't seen you in so many years, dear. <laughs> You look so beautiful. Oh, Miss Chan, it's been a while since I saw you. You haven't changed at oh, all. What a sweet thing to say. Hey, sweetheart, do you still remember Chen Chen? Do you recall when you were a kid? Chen Chen took you out, and you accidentally fell down the stairs. I forgot. <laughs> she was so little at that time. That's right. Yeah, she was so young. She even blamed Chen Chen for what happened to her. I don't remember. <laughs> she was very naughty in her childhood. <laughs> By the way, where are you staying? Oh, I'm staying at a hotel. I don't want to cause Ling Xiao trouble. We came back to celebrate his birthday. We'll reserve a table at a resto. I'll invite Ling Xiao's father, as well as your father, to take part in the feast, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 
All right. This is it. We're fine. Just go back. Let me know when you get home. Oh, okay, don't worry. Bye, take care. Your mother and sister came back to celebrate your birthday. Cheer up. They care about you a lot. I'm not upset. But you look very serious. Just smile. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Ling Xiao wasn't happy at all. He doesn't care about me. He's much happier with Jen Jen. Chang is back to visit her family here and to celebrate Ling Xiao's birthday. You don't need to care too much. She even missed her mother's funeral. A lifetime of regret. I don't understand the logic. Why come back after Ling Xiao returned? So what? I mean, do you want them to go back to Singapore? What? You also think it's improper, right? Well, I'm just thinking that maybe this time Ching Tang came back, not for that reason. I don't know. Jen Jen told me over the phone that Chan Ting was very polite to her. Who knows? Maybe she's changed. She was very polite to her? Come on. You know that's not the real Chen Ting. That woman was never nice. My goodness. <laughs> so it yourself. Maybe you can think things over. Hey, what's wrong with you? Hey, I don't know how to do this. Ling Xiao. Ling Xiao. Why don't you say something? Ling Xiao. Are you abandoning us again? Ling Xiao. Why did you abandon us? Ling Xiao. Why are you here? <laughs> I can't sleep. Would you mind if I sleep with you? You can't. Hey, don't be so mean. Just one night. I won't stay too long, swear. What are you doing? Sleep, come on, sleep now. <laughs> don't stare. Try to step out of your mind for once. Even if Mars were to hit the Earth tomorrow, we still need to sleep well tonight. I'm right here with you. Sleep now. Your mother and sister can seem to live without you. You just got back and they already followed you. My mother hasn't been home for a while. Little Orange is on summer vacation. It's all right with me. Mm. They're living in a hotel, am I right? It won't affect Ling Xiao's work. Ling Xiao, in my opinion, you should find some time to take them out. Little Orange said she wants to go out. I'll ask my colleague 
if someone can fill mm. in for me. Mm. Mm. Hmm? The hotel Miss Chunting is staying in is the one you're working at. Say hello when you see her, okay? There must be something wrong with me. She might have forgotten how I looked. Why should I say hi? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Our national hero, Zheng Chonggong, was in Emperor Wulong's good graces. It was said that the Southern Ming Dynasty You should stop was... reciting it. It's not very effective. No way! I have to go to the museum to get familiar with it. All the materials have to be finished within one week. When that's done, I can finally work formally. What are the materials about? About local history, important historical figures, and major historical events. About the introduction, cultural value, and significance of the collection. It's also their summer vacation. Many students and parents will visit, and they're short-handed. Oh, really, now? Hmm. You're very good at reciting the lines. It'll be easy for you. <laughs> yes, that's right. For me, memorizing stuff is not really a challenge. Which emperor was the one who appreciated Cheng Cheng Gong? Emperor Wulong, Ming Dynasty. Who was the highest official in ancient Xiamen? Su Song from the Song Dynasty, the Prime Minister. In short, he's like an all-around straight-A student and one of the greatest naturalists and scientists in ancient China. In medicine, even Li Shizhen became his supporter. The illustrated classics of Materia Medica, which he wrote, was quoted by Li Shizhen 74 times in his Compendium of Materia Medica. And when it comes to astronomy, he made a clock tower, which was the first of its kind in the whole world, 600 years earlier than Europe. What else would you like to hear, guys? We can talk about it some more. I feel like I can get into Peking University if we take the entrance exam by road. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can listen to her some more. I need to go. Bye, guys. Is the business that good? The shop is doing fine. Brunch and smoothies are selling well. <laughs> it barely makes profit, but it covers the basic costs. The first step is to make ends meet. Has it given you that? Yeah, it's good. Bye. Bye bye. Yabo's father is on chemotherapy. He can't eat anything, and he also lost his hair. The medication is making him very weak. He needs people to hold him while walking. It's been difficult. You take care of him by yourself? How about Liu Bao and Jing? Jing is at home. She has to take care of the ducks. Yobo has to work to earn money. It's not easy for him, too. Trying to make ends meet. He'd give his salary to me the moment he gets it. And both of the children I raised on my own. We're in as fortunate as Zucho. To put it bluntly, you are much luckier than me. <sighs> Didn't you always say that I'm the unlucky one? <sighs> A young girl dropped out of junior high school and went to the city for work. You were pregnant and divorced. Taking care of the child alone. But finally, you met a decent guy, but you gave up and went to Shenzhen. After that... You had to let someone adopt your child. Think about it. How could I even think you're luckier? I'm indeed unlucky. You are the only one who can still smile in this situation. I've cried enough already. While I was alone. You cried about it too? You and I grew up together. And I never once saw you cry. That's because you and Mom are alike. No matter what I did before, you never approved of it. I often avoided you. Whenever I cried. Every time I saw you, I was always reminded of our mother. I saw her look in your eyes, always anxious about my failure, and full of disappointment. Okay. 
It was also because you always misbehaved before. Mother often got angry due to your behavior. You never caused trouble. You had a boyfriend when you worked in another city. She disliked him because the city was too far. So she chose Lubao's father from the neighboring village. You cried for two days and agreed to her because you didn't want her to be angry. Marrying him was not a mistake. Liobo's father was so good to me. I don't regret marrying him. Let's not talk about it. Anyway, let's eat now. You should try this. Here. <sighs> Tissue. Here you go. By the way, why haven't you contacted me during all those years? I didn't want any trouble. Didn't you, Mizucho? It wouldn't do him any good to have a mother like me. I think all mothers in the world are all very similar and want the best for their children. Zuji went abroad to study and then he returned. Did you know that? Uh, I don't want to know. By the way, why don't you visit my beauty salon? I think you'll like it. <laughs> Ordinary people don't care too much about looks, you know. <laughs> Did you get remarried? Why do you ask? Because I think you did. You look young and fresh. <sighs> I want you to listen to me. Just settle down already. That way you'd avoid gossip. I really think that if you had married Haichao at that time, things would have turned out differently. I see you as someone who can live a stable life, grow up. Life would be much easier for you if you choose peace. Okay? Enough with the lecture now. Let's go and eat. Help yourself. Come on. Thank you for this. Mm. Excuse me. Here's your takeaway food, ma'am. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Well, I'm going back to the hospital now. Okay. I don't need the money. I have enough for the treatment. The docks we raise are ready to be sold. Just take it. I want to help out. I can take it. It's hard for you to. I'm leaving. Wait a minute. Just call me anytime. What do you mean? Look, just take it easy. Check the warehouse. Did he go there to play? No, he didn't. I checked the monitor. He followed the dog and went out. I'll be on my way. Mom, it's so heavy. Tell Ling Xiao to help us. Oh, let me help you. No, it's fine. Let's go. Excuse me, have you made an appointment? Oh, unfortunately not. I'm here for Dr. Ling Xiao. You need to set an appointment first. <sighs> What's more, Mr. Ling is treating a patient right now. I didn't come here for a treatment. I'm his mother. Oh, so you're Mr. Ling's mother. <laughs> yeah, I just returned from Singapore, and I wanted to see the place where he works. By the way, come on, hand them to me. Uh, I brought some gifts for everyone. It's from Singapore. You should try it. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. You really shouldn't have. Uh, you've always helped Ling Xiao. I'm the one who should thank you. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Oh. I'm Ling Xiao's colleague. I'm Fang Shishi. Great. Uh, oh, please take it easy. Uh, he has a patient now. Maybe you should take a break and wait for him. He's about to finish soon. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, by the way, I bought some things for everyone. Oh. It's from Singapore. Please help me distribute it to your colleagues later. Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> You must be the younger sister of Ling Xiao, Qin Mei Yong, right? 
Did Ling Xiang mention it to you? <laughs> I saw it when he filled the archive. Okay. Give me a package. Sure. <sighs> this one is for you. I can't accept it. But ma'am, we want to give back. You and Ling Xiao would like this type of toothbrush. This one has 12 different modes. You can take it with you and learn it. I'm sure you'll like its features. Try the mode that will suit you well. It's really functional. You should say thank you. <laughs> thank you, miss. <laughs> no problem. Let's go. Okay. Oh, please be careful. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's my pleasure. You can take one package too. Okay. All right. Nurse. Tell the patient about the matters needing attention. See you on Tuesday. Sure. Thanks, doctor. This way, please. Lang Xiao, thanks to your mother. She's really nice. My mother? Yeah, she brought some pineapple tarts for us. Now she's in the lounge chatting with Miss Fung. I'm scared of dentists. <laughs> <laughs> when I think about it, it makes me feel so oh, nervous. It's okay, it won't hurt. Uh, are you done with work? Uh, don't worry about me. Miss Fung is here to keep me company. Uh, it's fine with me, ma'am. I'm on my break now. Lei Xiao, since you're free now, why don't you show your mom around? It's almost 11. I have an appointment. Sure. That's all right. Thanks for all the help. I'll treat you to dinner sometime. Oh, thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye. See thank you. you. I didn't know you were coming. I called you earlier, but you were busy with work. I meant next time. Let me know if you're visiting. Well, I just wanted to see where you go to work, that's all. And also, I decided to bring some gifts to everyone here. I showed some treats from Singapore. Because those are not available here. Everything can be bought online now. I wanted to be nice and bring gifts for them. You don't get it. My colleague and I agreed that we'll change shifts. I can take you out later. Little Orange, do you want to go to Gulang Yu? Seriously? You want to? Maybe we can take a ferry. What do you want to eat for lunch? Your call. Or we can go eat ginger duck. Ginger duck it is. Okay. I'll go change. Yes. The child has a disorder. Autism. Yes. I see. Thanks a lot for your help. I appreciate it. I'll pick him up right now. Oh. So, they got him? Yes, they did. He didn't tell them anything about who he is, so they took him to the police station. <sighs> By the way, please call him back, miss. We found him. Sure, yes, miss. We need to hurry and take him back soon. Wait! The police asked me to bring certificates. They need a guardian to pick him up. What should I do? You mean a guardian? The problem is, Don can talk and doesn't recognize anyone. Let's figure out who can help us. Ling Haping. Ling Haping can help us. Ling Haping? Who is he? He's the Hai Chao's neighbor. I just want to say thank you for all the help. I really wouldn't be able to get him back without Ling's help. I'm glad it's all sorted out. <sighs> I'm glad the kid is all right. I just want to know, what happened to his mother? Why did she end up in jail? His mother used to be a beautician when I was a shop manager at a salon in Shenzhen. Her husband was a drunkard and beat her when he's drunk and apologized when he's sober. I've handled many cases involving domestic violence. If he beats her once, he'll beat her more in the future. That's right. I advised her to get divorced, but she said she endured that for the child. Good thing is, he wouldn't beat the child. That time he got drunk, 
and told her he would cut her face. She got hold of a knife and she killed him. She did it in self-defense. Right. Well, that's what happened to the case. She was convicted for it. She was sentenced to four years for killing him. Nobody could take care of Dong, so I helped her. She'll be released from prison this year. We've reached an agreement. I'm hiring her after her release. Poor kid. That's right. Dog! Hmm? What? What did you say? What's what that, dear? Dog! Oh! Snowball! Yeah! <laughs> Why, kiddo, do you miss him a lot? Dog! <laughs> oh, goodness! Come over here. <laughs> I'll take you to visit Snowball someday, okay, little boy? Mwah! <laughs> <sighs> Snowball has been adopted by the shop's owner at the gate. I've talked to them about Dong's situation. And they agreed to let you take Snowball. <sighs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I said I wouldn't bother you, but I always cause you trouble. I'm glad to help. You really don't have to worry about it. <laughs> What do you want to know? So... Dong is not your real son. And you didn't remarry? Uh, I didn't. I lived alone. But why did you hide the truth from us? Zucha would be upset when he finds out. I promised you that... Zucha would be your son. Since you raised him, I'll never come back. I've done something much worse to him. I'm bad in his eyes. And it's better for everyone. I never once said that. You should never see each other again. Just because I raised him. When you came back during his 12th grade, I wouldn't hide the truth from him if you didn't tell me you had remarried. I knew it. And I've said it before. I have my own principles in life. Just do as I say. But you also promised Zucho that you'd come back to him. You told him that before. Why didn't you do it? Mother, come and get me as soon as you can. <laughs> Mother, come and get me as soon as you can. seeing you this way. Here. Thank you. Uncle Lee, you've been absent-minded the whole day. What's on your mind? I mean, why'd she do that? What kind of person is she? Wait, leave him alone. He's missing Miss Chang. <laughs> Stop. Are you crazy? You can be together sometime in the future. This is about your future. It's a good job. How can you just quit like that? 
You can't answer the Mom, call. Mom, let it go. Stop you it. Can't. Give me my phone. Will you stop it? Is that you, Chen Chen? <laughs> Come in, join us. I haven't seen you in so many years, dear. <laughs> you look so beautiful. <laughs> Hey, you're back. Yeah. Where have you been? I went to Nanputua Temple. Oh. And the seaside. And tomorrow? Maybe to Gulang Yu. It's good you're taking them out. You don't look so good. I'm tired. Oh. Take a shower. Uh, good night. Good night. taking a shower. Go take a shower, then get some sleep later. What are you drawing? <laughs> I wanted to draw a series of endangered species, such as Tibetan antelopes, pandas, and cowfishes. Look, the cowfish is so cute. Wow, I thought that the animals were having a meeting. A meeting? A meeting of animals? Adorable. What's wrong? Yep, that's it! I've been thinking about what to name the series. Dujuan said complete works of endangered animals, but I think it's too serious. Meeting is better. It'll be meeting of animals. I'll go take a shower. Go back to your house. Can you sleep if I'm not here? You know what? You would box while sleeping. I would box? I didn't do that before, right? Mm. I was sleeping so soundly, then you punched me. Tomorrow morning, I'm taking them both to Gulang Yu. And it'll be bad if your father knows you sleep here. I thought you'd sleep better if I slept beside you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, but you need to go now. Is Zutra outside? I'll check. back in his room. Okay then. If you can't fall asleep, send me a text on WeChat. <laughs> or you can call me. I'll be drawing. Okay, I will. Go home now. Happy birthday to you. I wish you peace and endless happiness. Li Chen Chen. Made breakfast? Yeah, it's Ling Xiao's birthday today, so we both decided to make noodles for him. <laughs> but he already left. He's with his mom and sister, the Gulang Yu. What? Why didn't he tell us right away? We already cooked so much food. <laughs> it's fine, we can just eat it. Zhu Chao? Yeah? You don't need to get up so early to make breakfast every day. It's fine, I'm used to it. That's right, he wakes up early. Oh, but we can take turns. Look at you. You've been so exhausted lately. Housework at the museum. 
How should I put it? I feel so influenced, I'm so knowledgeable now. Just guess how long she can last. Hey, don't say that, Mingye. Mm? Not everyone likes their job. Sometimes it's just for money. That's the reality of it. It just so happens that the job I like is not the typical job. You always have an Lee Jen Jen, breakfast is ready. Yeah. Okay, I have to leave now. Huh? My father just got back. I'll pick him up at the airport. Oh, take a piece of bread with you. No, thanks. Good luck. Please don't give up, okay? You can do it. Go. You two are funny. All right, guys. I'm leaving. Mm. Dad! Dad! We need to hurry. I invited Mom out for a meal to give her the house register page. She did a very unreasonable thing again. Yeah. 